Have you ever looked at a bridge, a highway, or even a water treatment plant and thought, who makes this possible? Well, the answer is civil engineers. Civil engineering is one of the oldest and broadest fields of engineering. It's all about designing, building, and maintaining the infrastructure that keeps our world running. Think of it as the silent force behind the cities we live in, the roads we drive on, the water we drink, and even the air we breathe. But here's what many people don't realize. Civil engineering isn't just one single job. It's actually made up of several specialized branches, each with its own focus, tools, and techniques. And today, we're going to explore those branches in a way that's easy to understand, even if you're not an engineer. Let's dive in. First, structural engineering. Let's start with one of the most well-known branches, structural engineering. Structural engineers are the ones who make sure buildings, bridges, towers, and other structures are strong enough to stand and safe enough to use. They calculate the forces and loads, things like the weight of the building itself, people inside, furniture, wind, even earthquakes, and ensure that the structure can carry all of that without collapsing. They use materials like reinforced concrete, steel, and timber, and choose them carefully based on their mechanical properties. Strength, stiffness, flexibility, and durability. So the next time you walk across a flyover or admire a skyscraper, just know a structural engineer made sure it wouldn't fall down. Second, geotechnical engineering. Now let's go beneath the surface, literally, to talk about geotechnical engineering. This branch deals with soil and rock, the ground that everything is built on. You see, even the strongest building can fail if it's sitting on weak or unstable soil. Geotechnical engineers study the physical and chemical properties of the earth. They run soil tests, drill boreholes, and use equipment to assess how the ground will behave under pressure. Based on their findings, they design foundations, retaining walls, slopes, and even tunnels. Their work is what ensures that your house doesn't sink, that dams don't collapse, and that highways don't crack apart after a few years. It's quiet, behind-the-scenes work, but without it, nothing would stand. Third, transportation engineering. Next, we move on to transportation engineering, the branch that keeps us moving. These engineers design and manage transport systems, roads, highways, railways, airports, and even pedestrian walkways. They study traffic patterns, vehicle flow, road safety, and use transport modeling software to create systems that are safe, fast, and efficient. They also think about the future, planning for things like electric vehicle infrastructure, bike lanes, and public transport systems that reduce congestion and pollution. So the next time you're stuck in traffic, just know, a transportation engineer is probably working on a better solution. Fourth, water resources engineering, hydraulics. Water, it's one of the most powerful forces on earth and one of the most essential. Water resources engineers, also known as hydraulic engineers, are the ones who manage it. They design systems to collect, store, treat, and distribute water. This includes dams, canals, stormwater drains, sewage systems, and flood control structures. They also study hydrology, the science of how water moves through the environment, and use simulation tools to predict floods or manage water in drought-prone areas. Whether it's getting clean drinking water to your tap or preventing an entire town from flooding, water engineers are behind it all. Fifth, environmental engineering. As we face climate change and pollution, environmental engineers are more important than ever. They focus on protecting the environment and public health. That means treating wastewater, managing solid waste, improving air quality, and designing sustainable systems that reduce environmental impact. They might design water treatment plants, develop recycling programs, or create green building solutions. A lot of their work involves regulations, science, and a deep commitment to sustainability. If you care about clean air, safe water, and the health of our planet, this is the branch for you. Six, construction, engineering, and management. Now let's talk about the people who bring the designs to life construction engineers, and construction managers. Once the plans are ready, these professionals take charge of the building process. 
They manage materials, labor, equipment, and time. They ensure projects stay on schedule, on budget, and meet safety standards. They're often on-site, coordinating with architects, engineers, contractors, and even clients. And in today's world, they also use tools like project management software, building information modeling, BIM, and drone technology for site inspections. They're part engineer, part manager, and 100% problem solver. Seven, urban and municipal engineering. Last but not least, let's look at urban or municipal engineering. The folks who build and maintain the public infrastructure of our towns and cities. They handle the planning and construction of roads, water lines, sewage systems, parks, street lighting, and more. Their focus is often long-term. How a city grows, how services reach people, and how infrastructure adapts to change. They work closely with governments, urban planners, in communities to make sure development is sustainable, inclusive, and functional. In short, they shape the places we live. New and emerging trends in civil engineering. Now, before we wrap up, it's important to mention that civil engineering is evolving. New technologies like artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, remote sensing, and geographic information systems, GIS, are becoming part of the toolbox. Engineers now use drone mapping, simulation software, and even virtual reality to visualize projects before a single brick is laid. We also talk about smart cities, sustainable construction, and green infrastructure. Because the future of civil engineering isn't just about building more, it's about building smarter. So there you have it, the fascinating world of civil engineering broken down into its main branches. From the strength of a skyscraper to the smoothness of your daily commute, from clean drinking water to flood protection, civil engineers are quietly shaping the world around you every single day. Whether you're a student, a curious mind, or someone considering a career in engineering, now you know civil engineering is not just about concrete and steel. It's about people. It's about progress. And it's about solving real-world problems in creative, meaningful ways. Thanks for listening. And remember, behind every great civilization, there's a team of civil engineers. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. There's more great content on civil engineering coming your way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.